Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a week in my life of a Harvard summer school. I thought I would show you an insight into what it's like and what I do on an everyday basis. So it is Wednesday, the 17th of June. My birthday's in three days. I'm currently starting week two of Harvard summer school. It starts from week zero, so technically it's week three, but computer scientists like to count from zero. That's really the explanation. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and it gives you an insight into what it's like. If you're new here, my name is Ellen. It's really nice to meet you. Don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Ignore the state I'm in, like actually what am I wearing? It's really comfy and I look like a druggie, but it's fine. So today is Wednesday. I started the course on Monday and I've actually finished the first week. Like you can sort of do it at your own pace. Like you can do it faster if you like. So basically this is the layout. You have a lecture every week and then you have notes in the lecture, the source code, slides, everything you can think of. And then this right here is like your homework for the week. The lectures are about an hour long. Well, that was this week anyway, so I'm not really sure for the rest of it, but they're really interesting. Like you don't get bored at all. My homework this week was to either make a game or an interactive story on Scratch, which is like a really easy like coding thing. It's really simple, like not complicated at all. So I made this one about a wizard and like granting people's wishes. I actually handed it in and I got 88%, which is like for like Harvard school. I mean, like that's pretty good. Obviously this part is totally optional but I have wrote notes on the whole lecture just because like I want to have them for like if I want to look back on stuff my notes are very colorful I know so today is Monday the 8th of June and I'm going to be starting week one I have my lecture to watch then I'm going to write up my notes and then I'm going to start the homework I actually finished week zero in like two days so it might be the same this week or it could be harder I'm not really sure but let's get started I'm also just seeing that this lecture is an hour and 46 minutes long so yeah, I might not be finishing this week in two days, but it's fine. All right guys, so here is me watching my lecture, the usual. This lecture was on a language called C, which is like a coding language. There's tons of different languages to learn, but this is pretty much a very basic one. And um, my lecturer's name is John. He's pretty cool, very funny. He keeps it interesting, which is very important. So here's me showing you John. <laughs> These are my notes for the week. Very colourful, very aesthetic to look at, and overall, it was a good week. It's 11pm, and I'm on the homework for week one, and it's literally so difficult. Excuse my appearance, but like, I'm watching videos on it, I'm like, trying to figure it out. But like, I don't know how they expect us to do this, if this is like, a very beginner's, like, you are not expected to have any programming, like, experience before this. And like in the lecture, it had nothing to do with this. And yeah, I don't really have a clue what to do. And like, I actually understood the lecture. So oh, I'm very confused, but oh well, we are gonna figure it out. It's gonna be fine. We basically have to create a program so that whenever you enter a number, it will give you the number of hashes for that number. It might sound pretty easy, but it's really not. So like just example there, like if you gave a height of four, that's how many hashes it would give you. It does sound really easy, but you had to like come up with a formula. Queen. You basically had to come up with this formula that was when you added the row number and the column number together, it should equal the number that the person put in minus one. That's how complicated it got. I have such a headache right now from the bright light. This ended up being the code and here was our formula. So complicated, like it was really short, like that was it, but so complicated. It is currently week two of CS50. I watched the lecture yesterday and I'm currently writing up my notes. And this week we're learning about arrays and memory and data types and all of that type of thing. Haven't looked at the homework for this week. I'm sure it's gonna be difficult and I might need some help from some YouTube videos, but that's okay once I'm learning. Here are my notes so far this week week not too bad so as you can see here i'm just writing my notes for this week and uh, as i said we're learning about arrays which are like continuous like variables that are stored one after the other in ram which is like the memory in your computer right well we all know that i look gorgeous right now i'm about to start the homework for week two and i'm a bit stressed 
So I just got my results from my summer exams. They were fine. I'm gonna actually do a video and like talking about them and stuff. But it's sort of stressing me out because I have the leaving cert next year and like I feel like I should be spending my time in summer studying. Not studying, but every so often, every week, you know, do a little bit here and there. And I feel like this Harvard course is sort of taking over and is not giving me any time to focus on schoolwork. And like obviously it's really good to like, you know, get your head out of school and do something else. But my leaving cert is next year and that sort of like tells me if I'm going to go to college and what course I'm going to do and what degree I'm going to get so that is sort of important. Now this hybrid course you don't actually technically have to finish until December 2020 so I mean I could take it slower but then again I don't want to be doing it when I do get into sixth year so I don't know what to do like do I continue to do it obviously I really want to but is the leave insert more important? My grades were good but obviously you always want to improve your grades so we're going to do the homework for this week anyway get it out of the way. We have to build some program that like gives you a grade of reading so like if you had like loads of words and a massive paragraph loads of long words and sentences like it might be a higher grade suitable for people to read so yeah i guess i'm gonna start this now i might watch a youtube video if i can't understand it but we will see that is the update for now